Hi guys, I just wanted to tell you a bit about another lovely Mulberry handbag of mine. Um, it's basically the Cheney bag. And this is like the small going out night time, you know, going out for a nice dinner, going out clubbing with your friends. Beautiful, classic Mulberry bag. <sighs> right, I want to tell you basically why I bought it, all the reasons I love it, why you'll love it too. Start with basically the style. So as you can see, it is Mulberry. I'm uh, just going to zoom in on the clasp so you can see that. It's engraved into the bottom of the clasp. Um, this clasp is the Cheney style clasp. So it's not the same as the Postman's Lot, but it does have the Mulberry quality feel to it. So it just opens like that. And then you literally raise the bag open um, like that. And that's how you open and close it. Um, the inside is pretty simple. So it's basically like a purse. Um, but there is a bit of space inside, so you can put a fair few things. And as you can see, the strap can be tucked away inside too. So it's got a nice long gold chain strap. Absolutely lovely, classic, elegant, clean, timeless. It doesn't scream OTT either. And it's very affordable if you're not looking to spend a fortune on a Chanel bag just yet. I say yet, yeah, ladies, because you know we all want that Chanel bag. Priorities. Priorities, but yes, this bag... Um, I've gone for the croc. You can see I've gone for the embossed croc. The difference between this and the um, video I did already for the um, Bayswater is that this is the embossed croc. So can you see it's more shiny and you can see it's actually been carved into the leather, the crocodile pattern. So that's actually hand carved, hand carved. So you know you're getting a quality bag. Um, so features them. On the back of the bag you've got a little zip pocket. So you can stick keys in there if you want to. It's quite handy or something quite flat and thin. Up to you, depending on how you want the bag shape to look. Um, because this bag is the croc material, it is quite sturdy. Um, so I think the shape's going to be maintained quite easily. That's another reason I went for it. Um, and also the inside has got a soft leather lining. So it's actually leather rather than suede. A slotted pocket at the back there as well. And then space for cards. You've also got space at the front to slot something in so maybe you've got a few papers or i don't know just a few little knickknack bits that you don't want to mix in with anything in your main area main compartment so you might want to put it in that front area instead to separate it and then i love the fact you've actually got a coin purse so you can take this out as your actual handbag for the night and know that everything can go in it so no wallets need to fit inside because it's designed to basically be your wallet and your bag combined so it's good value um, and as I say, it's basically adaptable too because you can take this chain off. So this is why I love it. The only thing I'd warn you about this bag is I've had it maybe once, maybe twice, probably twice, where that chain has actually fell off. <laughs> Not ideal, but it's only done it once or twice. Um, so those very small little latches, can you see on the end there? they can potentially just move and unlock themselves. It's very light, it's not heavy at all, so you can have it as a clutch. Literally just go out in the club like this, just hold it underneath, you know, just carry it like that. And it's very easy to do because it's not too fat. Um, as you'll know with the Cheney design, there is another alternative Cheney handbag, which is quite triangular in shape. I didn't like that one. I didn't like it at all. So I wanted something very small and narrow and slim as literally an a night out bag basically just a and I do use it in the daytime as well I do use it as a crossover um, because the chain is so long that it's a crossbody chain that chain can literally come down to your hip and the bag can literally be worn to one side it's so handy like that um, so you've got a few options or you can wrap the chain around the flap so that you can actually wear it with a shorter chain over your arm so there's a few ways you can play with it I would just warn you that Again, with the leather, it's beautiful and it is quite nice that it's hard wearing. But I would say it's not as it's not as easy to not mark it as it is on the printed croc that I showed you on my other Mulberry bag uh, review for the base water that I've got. Um, because this bag has got a polished finish, so you can see the reflections on it. Can you see them in the light? So it basically means if you like get any like splatters of drink they would show on it so you'd want to wipe it clean obviously the soft leather on the inside is is more soft so it can 
you easily get little finger scratch nail marks when you take out things. But it has lasted quite well, it is, it is wearing quite well, but it's just something for you to be aware of. Um, this soft leather in the inside will have like dents and scratches in it more easily than the outside. Yeah, I did drop the bag on the floor when I first got it. Oh, accident. So because it's got a very, ah, uh, that's another thing. Because this chain is quite shiny, if you're wearing it on a soft coat or top, it might just slide off of you. That's another reason why I wear it crossbody. I hardly ever just put it on my shoulder because it's so easy to just go like that and it just falls. Not good. It dropped on the floor and unfortunately it got a little scuff mark. Can you see some little dents just there? On the first day I wore it out, the very first day I wore it out, I was gutted. <sighs> Never mind. Aside from that, it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. A um, bit different, different design for Mulberry, more, more classic new design. So this is by the creative director, uh, Johnny Kerr, I think. Um, he is uh, the one that's revolutionising the Mulberry brand, bringing out all the new class, bringing out the more modern look. This is one of those designs and I think that you will like it as much as I do. Um, again, with the maintenance, just wipe it down with a damp cloth. I'd say also to use the repellent gel on there. I have used the repellent spray on there and it did leave a slight, like, misty finish on my bag. Maybe you could try using the gel or some other uh, water repellent protector as well but obviously the protector is recommended for most of the bags and I think also this one which is why I used it on this one before I went out in the rain with it. So you can store the bag pretty much as it is because it doesn't really lose its shape. I think it's quite well structured this bag so you don't have to worry that it's gonna you know like lose its shape so much but obviously it's worthwhile putting some padding inside at night. So it's just a small dust bag this time and it slots perfectly inside um, widthways. So the bag, it fits in just like that. So plenty of space in the dust bag for it. Um, and obviously it comes in its little green bag because it's a new design. So that's the gap, that's the bag you'll get when you buy it. Um, but yeah, just keep it in there at bedtime and keep it stored nicely. Okay, the other thing to tell you is what you can get inside this bag. So I'll just quickly show you rough ideas of what fits. So obviously cards fit in the card area very easily. Just slot your cards in like that. Eight cards, you've got slots at the back, you've got space in the middle, so I'm gonna put in. No need to put a wallet in. As I say, coins are going in loose. Lipstick goes in, foundation, uh, powder goes in. Hairbrush, complete with hairs, goes in, <laughs> small one. Um, keys, car keys, goes in. Um, in addition to those things, I don't think you really need to put much else in on a night out. You might have, you know, sometimes you have very small uh, perfume. So like, for instance, I've got a little perfume bottle. That can go in easily as well. Uh, yeah, that all fits in nicely. And the bag just closes. In fact, what I would probably suggest in order to get the brush in, because the brush is a bit long, and the brush I don't normally take out on the night out, I normally take it in the day, but you can just about close it like that and clasp it. So it can fit a brush in, and I think if you've got a slightly smaller hairbrush, you might be better off than using that one. That's just a relatively big brush so if you could fold the brush that would be even better but otherwise everything fits in nice um you don't really need to put many things in a bit of makeup can go in there and you're all good to go for the evening you, you're ready that's it out you go party time um yeah so that's how much fits inside and that's it if you've got any more questions about my beautiful little chainy uh clutch bag please do note them in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you all soon Feel free to skip, subscribe and click the like button as well if you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.